Greetings, and welcome to the first episode of my new series on my channel called What If. This series will tackle the possibilities and theories of the Transformers Reactivate War and in-universe questions. So to kick things off for this new series, what if Megatron is found first? Now some of you may not know what I mean by this question, so here's some backstory. In the Transformers Reactivate universe, there is an alien ship that crashes into the planet known as Earth and unleashes an invasion onto Earth and its people. But before this invasion took place, there was a war over a massive alien superweapon, only known as the Aegis. This weapon waged a fierce battle between the Autobots and Decepticons. At some point during the war over the Aegis, the massive alien superweapon began to explode and wiped out massive amounts of both Autobots and Decepticons, creating an extinction of the Cybertronian race. Not finding any trace or remnants of the Decepticon or Autobot leaders, Optimus Prime and Megatron were presumed missing in action, and we spent a good chunk of the game trying to find them. But this begs the question, what would happen if Megatron is found before Optimus Prime? After the main invasion of the Legion, the Decepticons, now once again under the leadership of Megatron, would harness the nanotech virus for their own use, and even make an attempt to control the Legion enemies with the help of Shockwave. Starscream even says he thinks Shockwave has a very different intention in mind in the leaked cutscene. It even goes further to say he likely admires what those things outside have achieved. There is also the matter of Shockwave. This little group has no idea what he's capable of. I'm sure he has a very different motivation to learn more about this enemy. He likely admires what those things outside have accomplished. As far as we know in the Transformers Reactivate universe, Autobots have found their home on Earth, making friends with the Earth Defense Command and taking refuge there. Once Megatron arrives back on Earth after the war, Megatron would see the Autobots in their critical state. With no leader, he would see them as disposable and weak. With very few of their race left alive, Megatron would execute the last remaining Autobots on Earth and call the planet his own to command and control, and would even berate his fellow Decepticons for creating an alliance with the enemies. With the Autobots gone and destroyed, Megatron would learn of the alliance that was formed between the Autobots and the Earth Defense Command. This group of people is the equivalent to the Nest Team from the Michael Bay live-action films, a team composed of brave soldiers that fight alongside the Autobots. But once Megatron learns of them, he would make them his slaves to do anything and everything in the name of Megatron, or he would just commit a mass extinction of the Earth Defense Command, as Megatron likes to be the best of the best and leaves no one that could pose a threat to him alive. With Megatron wiping the floor with the Autobots and EDC, Megatron would presumably assume complete command over Earth. He would build up his faction of Decepticons with the help of Shockwave and Starscream. He truly would become a dictator. With no one powerful enough to challenge him or overthrow him, Megatron would become unstoppable. Earth would finally become his, and he could make his dreams come true by building a new home, a new Cybertron. With Earth now under the command of Megatron, Optimus would eventually find his way back home. He sees that Earth is no longer what it was. Optimus would see a world he failed to protect and defend from the invasion. He let his nemesis take over and destroy his home once again. Optimus Prime would have to reform the Autobots and bring together a new version of the Autobots with new Transformers from around the solar system that survived the Aegis explosion. Once Optimus has enough Autobots, he would launch an invasion of his own to reclaim his home. Since the invasion and virus also killed thousands of Decepticons, Megatron, now in control of Earth, would send a signal out all throughout the universe, and would build up a new Decepticon force, bringing in new Decepticons from around the solar system to serve him on Earth. Megatron would eventually get power hungry and try to take over nearby planets to create a whole new empire for the Decepticon Legion, and would be successful since there is no one to stop him. Megatron would truly rule the solar system. This is what I think will happen if Megatron is found first and Transformers reactivate instead of Optimus Prime. Let me know what you would add, and uh, yeah, it's been TF Reaper. See y'all boys later.